Okay, so, map mapping. A lot of us have seen it in games we played, and a lot of us have seen it in Minecraft, specifically in uh, Optifine. So, go to options, video settings, quality, and you'll find it over here. Now, a lot of us have been like, when we looked at this option, we went like, what does it do? How does it work? Is it good to enable? Is it bad? Well, in this video, we're going to talk about that, and I'm going to show you examples and compare it uh, for it being on and being off. So let's get into it. Okay, so I loaded up a world and I loaded up MSI after burn just so we can keep an eye on uh, resource usage to see if it actually impacts it or not. So, what is MIP map uh, and MIP map levels? Let's see. First of all, this is the normal vanilla uh, Minecraft textures with MIP mapping enabled to the maximum level or enabled in general, I don't want to confuse you, we'll get to the levels later. If we get farther away from the textures, it will still look normal, because it's being map mapped. What being map mapped means is, a texture that has map map levels will be rendered at a smaller resolution of itself the farther you get away. So for example, uh, Minecraft textures, most of them, uh, the vanilla ones are 16 by 16 by default which means that um, this grass block in my hand has 256 pixels on each side but the side we're looking at is the one that's being map mapped so it's 16 by 16 which means 256 pixels so when we get far away it will be reduced to 8 by 8 which is a map map level so it will be 64 pixels, and if we get even farther away, it will be 4 by 4 which means there is only 16 pixels being rendered, and it will retain some detail from far away that will make it look good enough, and it will eliminate any aliasing, and shimmering, and like noise. So let's compare this, which is map mapped, to textures that are not map mapped. So, these are not being map mapped at all, and as you can see, there's a lot of shimmering, a lot of noise and artifacting, and it's, it's ugly. Uh, the reason that is happening, because there is no map mapping being applied, which means each grass block of these millions of them um, is being crammed with each other, like the pixels, which means there's always 256 pixels. Uh, that, that are being rendered for each block which makes them crammed and makes the pixels basically fight each other to be rendered uh, at full detail which from far away makes it look very ugly but if we get close um, it will look normal like right next to it and if you look to the distance we can see the aliasing and the noise and stuff because nothing is being map mapped so yeah now <clears throat> for the map map levels, go to video settings and quality. If you go to the levels here, there is one, two, three. Each one of those represents a level, one level. So what is a level? So um, a full texture is 16 by 16, which is with map mapping off. No map mapping going on, it's just a texture. The first level will be half of the original one, which means 8 by 8. Second level, 4x4, four four. Um, third level 2x2, two two. and then 1x1, one one. Um, I mean this doesn't make a lot of sense for small textures like this, but let's say you're playing uh, on a texture pack that has like 500 uh, by 500 texture packs, then um, mid map levels will make more sense. So that's pretty much it, that's how uh, mid mapping works in Minecraft. You should always have it enabled to the max and uh, if you want you can have map map type to trilinear or the highest available in other games uh, but in minecraft it's trilinear it will um, filter it works pretty much like anisotropic filtering but only for farther away textures that are being map mapped so this texture is not being map mapped and this one and this one so they will not have any map map filtering applied to them but farther away textures that are being map mapped and rendered at low resolutions of themselves, they will have filtering on them, which makes them look smoother and cleaner. 
So yeah, pretty much uh, that's all of it. It's pretty simple. Hope you learned something new and um, yeah, see you in the next video.